so I just wanted to get on here and just record and just speak about my journey so far. This is this has been an eye opener. Um in my previous videos I briefly talked about um how I came up with the concept of starting my boutique and the idea and it's just like mind blowing how something can start from a dream and it can just like flourish to reality you know and now since i'm in 2020 it's so much i want to do it's so much i want to accomplish i keep claiming like this is the year i really get on my feet and go like just go like take it to the next level i got my degrees I'm about to be 27. I feel as though like I'm in my prime. This is my prime season. And I need to take all advantage of this season while I don't have any kids at the moment. I'm not tied down. It's just me, you know. It's just me just living my life. Or whatever. But I just got to let y'all know this is hard. You have to be dedicated and consistent. And me, I'm working more on myself because either I'm an overachiever or I all the way slack off. And that's what I did. And I'm so mad at myself. And I can look back and see because November, I start pushing pushing that was my lunch month so i was pushing i did a giveaway i was doing lives like i was talk i was doing everything and the day before or the the day before or two days before thanksgiving my dad got sick and that really changed everything i stopped everything like I shut completely down. And I feel as though that threw my momentum off. I feel as though I would have, even though I did do good in December, but that first week I felt I could have accomplished so much if I could have just took a mini break, got everything together with myself, and kept going. And that's one thing I'm learning with listening to, like, girl CEO podcasts and just, like, motivational things and just even just talking with God, like, one-on-one -on -one talking with God. I have to keep going. You got to keep going. It don't matter what you're going through, what's being put in your way, whether it's friends, friends, family, relationships, jobs, or just even life, just people, because people can irk too. You have to keep going. You have to think about the bigger picture. You have to think in a tunnel vision mindset. You just got to focus on your goal. And me, I'm creating my vision board, so I see my goal. I know my goal. I know what I want to accomplish this year. And nothing can stop me. Yes, life will happen. And yes, life will try to like knock me down. But it's not going to stop me. It's not going to stop me. So I just had to get on here because I just need to record this so I can see within like, I'm going to do a six month check in. And do another recording just like this. It's January, February, March, April, May, June, July. July. July the 1st. I'm going to make another recording like this. And we going to see where I'm at. Because I'm putting pressure on myself. Because it's time. I done focus. Like I said, I done focus with school. I done stayed in the books. I got my educational, why I say educational, educational background. Like I got, I got that set. 
I can fall back on it. I have a plan. So now I can just I can just do it. I can just do it. So it's time. Anybody that's watching this, keep going. Put on your hat and keep going we got goals it's 2020 just me saying 2020 just gives me the motivation like you gotta keep going it's 2020 it's 20 fucking 20 2020 that sounds so futuristic and how this world is set up with social media and technology we can all be doing it we can all be living our dreams, achieving our dreams, and doing the unthinkable. But it it starts with us. We have to put forth the effort to keep going, to keep keep giving us the pep talks. If nobody else ain't going to talk, keep talking to yourself. Keep giving yourself the motivation. Stop downplaying. That's one thing I do. I downplay. I downplay of what I'm not doing, but instead of downplaying, I need to start looking at what have I already accomplished. I'm 26 years old with two degrees, working on a certification. Plus, I got my own business. Some people don't even make it that far. And I didn't accomplish all this. Plus, I'm living on my own. I'm doing all this by myself. By myself. I'm starting this from the ground up. When I check my Instagram page, yeah, I only got 200 and some followers, but I gained that on my own. I did that on my own. Yeah, I only made, what, $300 in December. Motherfucker, I made $300 by myself in December. And I just started my business. Some people I see be complaining, they can't even get $10. And I made $300. So, you just have to keep motivating yourself, giving yourself the pep talks, just encouraging yourself to know that you can do this, that it's it's a better life ahead if you just continue to put forth the effort. So, I just had to get on here. I had to do a quick rant because life is hard, especially... When you just realizing and seeing stuff, it's like the more you work on yourself and try to better yourself, the more people like switch up. And it's like people you have known the longest, family, like it it, it just be so much bullshit start coming out. You be like, dang, for real, for real, you go, for real, for real. Sometimes I look, I, swear, I be looking at God like, for real, they gonna do me like this for real, like. But it all comes with life. You you just can't let that get you down. So, <sighs> another day in the life, dreams of reality. I'm gone. <laughs>